All right, number eight. Assign oxidation numbers to each element in the compounds found in the following situations. Rust. Okay. Um, Fe2O3 forms on an old nail. Okay, so um, again, this is the common form of oxygen because it's not a peroxide. It's not with uh, fluorine, so it's going to be minus two. So that's a total of um, sorry, minus six over here. So I'm going to need a total of plus six over here. There are two irons to contribute that plus six. So that means that iron is going to be a plus three oxygen minus two. Same old jazz. Now we have a uh, nitrogen uh, dioxide here. I have a, s uh, a common form of oxygen, a minus two. There are two of them, so that's a total of minus four. Uh, so that means I need a plus four on this side. There's there, there's only one nitrogen atom to actually uh, contribute that. So I will have a plus four on nitrogen and a minus two on oxygen. Lastly, we have chromium dioxide using the exact same strategy here. No special circumstances for oxygen, so that's a minus two. I might as well just write that down now because that's part of my answer. But what's chromium? We're going to have to deduce that. So I got a total of negative four on this side because there are two oxygens, each at negative two, so that's a negative four. There's only one chromium atom that is going to balance that out. And the, the way you balance out a minus four is with a plus four. And so all of that oxidation state has to be due to that chromium.